Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with Get On Stream. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer your alert box over from Streamlabs to Stream Elements. There's been a lot of recent drama around Streamlabs. A lot of people are stopping using it. And one of the biggest barriers that people have is getting their alerts over on some other platform that they can integrate with something like OBS. So what we're going to do is show you in this video very quickly how you can do it. If you've got a Stream Elements account, you will need to log in. If you don't have one, you will need to create one. If you have a Streamlabs account, which obviously you probably do if you're watching this video, you will need to log into the Streamlabs online platform as well to make this work. So if you come over into Stream Elements, you can come to this page right here and I'll leave a link down below which will take you directly to this page. It's forward slash dashboard account forward slash import. Uh, and then you can come in here and you can transfer your stuff. You know, if you have stuff in the Streamlabs uh, command bot, you can also import them. But for this specific video, we're going to be focusing on the alert box. So right here, we can install it. So I'm going to click install. You can also come up here to the top right, uh, click import and then click on Streamlabs. This will take you over to this page right here, which will allow you to install the extension on Chrome. You will need to be on Chrome to use this. I don't believe there's an extension for any other browser. So you go ahead, I've already installed it. If you haven't got it installed, just click install right here. And then this will appear up in your extensions. You can see it, Streamlabs export to stream elements. Then you can head back into stream elements and then we can open up this little uh, extension right here. And you can see if you wanna import your tips and the sounds along with your tips and whatever appears on the screen, you can select this and also import your alerts. So I'm just gonna go ahead right here and click start import to stream elements. And again, remember, you need to be logged in to both Streamlabs and stream elements or you will get an error right here. It only takes a couple of seconds. I have mine all ready to go. You can see here it is done. So what we're going to do is now head into stream elements so we can see those alerts. So if we come in here to uh, streaming tools, we go to my overlays, you will now see I have a couple here because I've already done this. I did it for the written tutorial, which you can also find down below. Uh, Streamlabs imported alert box. I've got them right here. So when you import it, you'll probably just have one of these. And if you want to, if you've already got an overlay created in stream elements, you know, if you use stream elements for your whole overlay for everything, we can actually come in here to this alert box and we can click edit. And in here, you can edit everything to do with your alert box. So right here, you can see we've got this drop down, click into settings, and then you'll be able to see all of the different alerts that you have. You can see mine popping up here for a new subscriber. So we can change signs, do all of the fun stuff that you can do inside these softwares. But how do I get this into an existing scene, which is probably something that you might want to do? Well, to do that, you can come over here, click this duplicate option. And there's two options. We can duplicate it into this overlay or into other overlays. So you just click other overlays. And then I'm just gonna select this unnamed overlay here, but you would select the overlay that you have already created inside stream element and it's as easy as that to get your alerts from Streamlabs and put them into stream elements so you can start streaming maybe on a different platform if you don't want to use Streamlabs anymore if you guys enjoyed this video please do subscribe we do videos on the channel here and on our website getonstream.com like this video if you enjoyed it and check out one of these other videos on the channel see you guys in the next one